Buying that first home may be within reach if you know the right pathway to a mortgage. It's off to college for many of our kids, and life in a dorm room presents its challenges. We get storage and organization tips from an expert. Don't let algae put a damper on your summer fun. We'll show you what you can do to restore it to a sparkling clean. Searching for a new apartment can be frustrating, especially when you're in a hurry. We've got just the answer for your apartment honey needs. This is the show all about you and your space, your home and surroundings. We are Designing Spaces. How long have you been paying rent or living with your parents or roommates? Probably longer than you'd like. Designing Spaces knows that you'd much rather have a home you can call your own. So we called in the experts from Citibank to show us how first-time home buyers can make their dream of owning their home a reality. Um, we were living with my parents actually um, for about four years. And it was nice, but I think it was just the next step. You know, we were ready to kind of get our own space and, you know, take that next, right. go to the next level. <laughs> when someone's buying a first home, they're usually so excited. They won't be subject to unexpected rent increase or changes in management anymore. Home ownership is about putting down roots in a community and taking on more responsibility. But home buyers usually have to get financing. They need to find a lender who can answer their questions and provide a variety of mortgages. It's important to have options when choosing a mortgage so that you can find one that fits your needs. Navigating it was it was a bit challenging at first, you know, trying to find out where to start, where to, you know, where to go, who to turn to, who to talk to. Um, it's just there's so many realtors out there, there's so many people that do mortgages and stuff like that. It was hard to find the right person to speak with and just get the, you know, get the steps rolling. Not all buyers have 20% of the purchase price for the down payment. There are mortgage programs with lower down payment options. For example, Citibank offers a mortgage program called Home Run, which requires as little as 3% down and is available in specific geographic areas. FHA and VA loan have lower down payment options for qualified buyers. Also, closing cost and down payment assistance may be available. A fixed rate mortgage makes it easier to budget over the long term because you'll always know your principal and interest payment. Adjustable rate mortgage offers a lower interest rate for a specific time period. After that, the interest rate will adjust usually annually. There are caps so that the interest rate can increase a maximum amount at each adjustment, as well as a maximum amount it can increase over the life of the loan. You may want to consider an adjustable rate mortgage if you don't plan to stay in your home for more than a few years, or if you expect your financial position to change. We decided to go with a conventional mortgage. Um, initially, we thought about doing an FHA since we were first-time home buyers, um, but we didn't realize that initially that we can put down less than 20% and still do a conventional loan. But when we spoke with Michael Alexander, he told us, you know, this is actually, you can put down 10%, you can put down 5%. And he went over some of the, you know, the benefits of doing that conventional loan that could be helpful to us. And he mentioned some benefits about the FHA loan as well. And then we decided to go with the conventional and we put down, I don't know, 5 or 10 percent, and uh, it's, it's been great, so. If you're considering buying a home, it's a good idea to get pre-approved for a mortgage. With a program like Citibank Sure Start, you provide information about your income, and Citibank makes a preliminary credit decision. If you're conditionally approved, Citibank will let you know the maximum loan amount you may qualify for. This really helps to take the stress out of the home search, because you'll know the price range you can consider. Once you've found your dream home, contact your home loan officer for a final decision, and if approved, you can make your moving plans with confidence because Citibank offers an on-time closing guarantee. After falling back quite a few steps, it was actually for this home, we wanted to, uh, we still wanted it and the timeline was getting too tight. We needed to turn somewhere else, and that's when um, I, I reached out to Citibank, and we had a closing date, I think two weeks, whereas the other bank we were initially going with, it was, you know, we were being dragged around for about yeah. like a month and a half, so. Mike really helped us yeah, with that. He was really, really great, yeah. and it was a, like a breath of fresh air, yeah. so it was good. Yeah, everything went smoothly. Homeownership begins with the decision to own a space we can call home. There are financial considerations such as saving on rent or possible tax benefits, but those aren't usually the reason people give when they decide to buy a home. 
part of the homeownership journey is often putting down roots in the community and enjoying the privacy of your own space. A mortgage is a tool we use to make homeownership possible and dreams come true. It is a beautiful area and it's you great know, for families. Too. It's exactly. It's good. It's good. <laughs> it's good for families. Uh, good family community, young families. So that was something that we were looking for as well. And um, you know the school system. So everything we really just factored into you know this area and finding this house and making it our own has really been very exciting. Yeah. So it's been a good experience. Yes. <laughs> For more information, visit the Citibank website. To see this portion of Designing Spaces again, visit designingspaces.tv. You can also find us on Facebook and Twitter. If you have a child going off to college, you're probably having mixed emotions. You're excited for them, but it's hard to see them go. Going away to school is an important rite of passage. There's the campus life, classes, and don't forget about the dorms. And you want to send them off with the right supplies, but we all know storage space in a dorm room is a precious commodity. Well, we have you covered here today on Designing Spaces as we continue our series that puts everything in its place. And to help us do that is Jane with Trinity International, an eco-friendly storage and organization company with products to make our lives easier and less cluttered. Jane, welcome back to Designing Spaces. I'm so glad to be back. You know, we're talking about organizing the smallest space we can think about, a dorm room. Yes. So you have lots of ideas for us today. I sure do. Okay. And the challenge with the smallest place possible is that they cram as many people in there as they can. <laughs> this is true. So you're sharing with at least one person, maybe right. two right. or so you, three. You really need to use that space wisely. Yes. Okay. And they don't provide much when it comes to storage. No. You walk in, there's a bed. <laughs> exactly. And you have a desk, right. a small closet, and a dresser, and that's really about it. Right. So you've got to bring your own solutions. And you are bringing those solutions to us today as we see a couple options. So yes. for our families watching, what would be the first thing you would suggest to them? I would suggest the bronze slat rack. Okay. On these shelves, there are slats that are wider than on our shelving racks mm -hmm. so that not as much stuff can fall through. Okay. So that's great for putting your jewelry, for your books, your clothing. We've got the collapsible crates, which are so easy to assemble. And these crates can hold 15 t-shirts wow. each. Look how easy that is, I love that. And it's got a lid so that your shirts won't get dusty. And it folds flat if you're not using it. Exactly. And I like all the options you show here. You can have your printer or different things and even hang your backpack off of it. So yes. it's, it's multi-use. Yes, each shelf on this one and that rack can hold up to 350 pounds, oh, wow. which is about 30 books. Okay, so now this is different because I noticed this has, has like smaller wires, but yes. you have a, a cover on here. Yes, so our bronze shelving racks have liners that you can put on them so that you can put things like a lamp on the top, picture frames picture to frames. remind you of home. Smaller things that won't fall through now because yes. the liners. Yes, precisely. That's perfect. And we've got these drawers with the covers, which are 100% cotton and are fully washable. So in case it gets dirty, your toiletries spill out, Right. you can wash it with your laundry. And I like that you said you can add so much weight, so you can put your books on here and not have to worry about it. That's right. Okay. Now, when we're talking about clothes, college students may do their laundry at school, but for the most part, they take it home. But you have options for that. We do. We've got two different laundry sorters. Okay. One is a two-bag sorter, and this is a three-bag sorter, which comes with casters so they can roll it down to the laundry room. That's handy. And That's the bags are very easily removable, and they're washable, so they could throw it in with their laundry. See, this is what I see happening. Okay, got my laundry. Let's go to mom and dad's now. That's right. <laughs> and this, actually, you can wash, right? Yes, just okay. take, the, take the wires out. Well, mom and dad will wash that for you, but. <laughs> <laughs> but you have lots of options for them. Yes. Okay, so any other advice for families watching and they're trying to make this transition? I would suggest since it's such a big step to go to college and it's likely your child's first time away from home, yeah. that you go with your child to help them get organized and to put everything in its place. Yeah, check out the space, give some advice, right? Yes. And that way it's easier to shop together. Yes, and all of our items come flat packed so that they're really easy to assemble. Mm -hmm. And as you've already seen- They're very easy. Very easy. Yeah. And the reverse is true, you can take it apart just as easily to move home at the end of the school year. Perfect. And okay. because our stuff lasts so long, you can use it through your entire studies. Right, yeah, you just take it with you as you go. 
And if you happen to get to school and discover that this isn't enough, you can always go to Costco, Home Depot, Overstock, or Wayfair, for example, mm -hmm. and order or buy our products there. And you can even go to Amazon and through Prime Shipping get it for two days. Get it and in two days. you also can go to your website. That's right, right. trinityii.com. Yeah, so we, you have us covered. Whether we want to go there in person, look online, well, you know you can always buy your products. Yes. And there's, this is just a sample of all that you offer. Yes, a small sample. Okay, well thank you so much. You're helping to make this transition in a lot of families' lives just a little bit easier. So Hopefully. thank you so much. And next time you come back, we're gonna tackle that one room that I think is impossible, but I know you can handle it. The garage. Dun, dun, dun. Yes, and we're gonna organize that, right? Yes, we All are. All right, I look forward to it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Well, if you've missed anything of what we've covered here today, please head over to our website at designingspaces.tv. You can also find us on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for joining us today. We'll see you soon. I have an instructor coming to give my daughter swim lessons, but the pool is green. I can't let anybody swim in this. What do I do? To help Malia with her algae problem, Designing Spaces got together with Rebecca, the new products manager for the Clorox pool and spa brand. When I saw the pool, it was clear that somewhere along the way, algae was able to take over. But I was able to show Malia a few simple steps to get rid of it and prevent it from coming back. So Malia, since we last saw each other, what have you been doing to maintain your pool? Well, now that I do it myself, I clean the filter, skim the surface, and add the chlorine. Okay, so have you been adding chlorine weekly like we talked about? Well, now that my daughter will be taking swimming lessons, I've reduced the amount because I don't want it to irritate her eyes. She definitely shouldn't have stopped adding chlorine. Green algae can be caused by little to no chlorine. And if the swimmer's eyes were irritated, that could be the sign of another problem. She might even need more chlorine. So the first thing we need to do is kill the algae, remove it from the pool, and then test and adjust to get into the Clorox Pool and Spa Comfort Zone balance ranges. There are three common types of pool algae. First is the type that Malia has. It's called green algae, and it's the most common. Second is mustard algae. It looks like yellowish brown slime on the sides of the pool. Third is black algae, the toughest to eliminate. It can coat the wall, and it will require some scrubbing with a brush to eliminate. Yuck! How'd that get into my pool? Well, algae can get into any pool by wind, rain, debris, and even bathing suits. But you don't usually notice it until they start growing. And you said you stopped adding chlorine, so that's probably why. So if I put the chlorine back in the pool, it'll all go away, right? Not exactly. And if you don't know what to do, you can always try our troubleshooter on the Clorox Pool app or online at cloroxpool.com. But I'll just tell you, we're gonna need a chlorine shock and algicide to kill the algae. And then you're gonna have to follow the easy one, two, three pool care brand system steps to make sure it doesn't come back. Let's go get some supplies. So as you know, this is the pool chemical section. And to really solve your algae problem, we're gonna need an algicide. Mm -hmm. I think algicide extra blue would be the best option because it can kill any type of algae and works really quickly. Awesome. And then you're very familiar with Shock Extra Blue. Yes. But as you remember, it has the algae killing crystals, so this will kill the algae, then we'll use the algicide, and your pool should be looking good once again. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. I remember this. It has blue algae killing crystals to get rid of the algae. Exactly. Simple enough. And then we're gonna brush. Okay, so brushing your pool is really important when you have algae. You really need to make sure you can get it off the walls and off the bottom of your pool because it can cling to it. And this will help um, get the algae into the filter. And also when we vacuum later, it's gonna help pick it up really easily. Okay, so now we're ready for algicide. And I picked algicide extra blue because it's our best algicide and kills any type of algae, including green, mustard, and black. So you just wanna add it really slowly along the edges where the algae growth is heaviest. Perfect. Wow, this is really easy to use. How long until my pool looks normal again? Well, between the chlorine shock and the algicide, the algae should be dead in 24 hours. And then all we have to do is vacuum to get it all out. So what do I do to prevent further algae? Just add chlorine? Well, adding chlorine is important, but I recommend you follow the entire easy one, two, three pool care brand system steps, which include testing and balancing, adding chlorine and shocking weekly. That will help prevent algae and other problems so you save time and money. Just remember, preventing algae is much easier than eliminating it. So if your pool 
mold does show a tendency to grow algae, consider a preventative algicide weekly. And I even think you have some algicide left in that bottle you could use. Also, our extra blue line of products all help kill and prevent any type of algae. It all makes so much sense. From now on, I'm gonna take much better care of my pool. Thank you so much, Rebecca. Sure, on behalf of the Clorox Pool and Spa products team and me, it was a pleasure to show a pool owner that they can solve frustrating pool problems and maintain a beautiful pool. I saw the worry dissolve as Malia realized her algae problem wasn't as bad as she thought. And with a few simple steps, she learned that Clorox Pool and Spa really does make pool care simple. Like I like to say, it isn't rocket science. After confronting the algae, I now feel like I can hold my pool to an excellent standard. I want to know everything and do it all myself. To learn more about Clorox Pool and Spa, Extra Blue products and algicides, visit their website, cloroxpool.com, where you'll also find all kinds of information dream used to be owning a home, but for many, that's changing. And the new American dream is the newfound freedom of renting. However, finding a place to live, especially when you have a deadline to move out of your current home, can be stressful. Hi, I'm Debbie Marie. On this edition of Designing Spaces, we invited Heidi Williams from Apartments.com to help us find the perfect place to live without all the hassle. Heidi, good to have you on Designing Spaces. Thanks, Debbie. It's a pleasure to be here. So we're seeing a lot of people renting versus buying right now. Why do you think that is? Well, there's two main advantages. The first one's financial. Renting is often more affordable and attainable for people. You're not saddled with maintenance costs, and you don't need a large upfront payment. The second is is really flexibility. When you're renting, you don't have to worry again about those home maintenance activities, yard work. Instead, we hope that you have time to enjoy the pool or the fitness center, some of those on-site amenities. And it's also a short-term commitment, so you can feel free to move in with a roommate or try a new neighborhood and move as often as you need to based on your life situation. What are some of the challenges for a renter? Well, finding your rental home is very difficult. Not all the information is readily available online. You have to go to a lot of different sources, and that's really based on how apartments have marketed in the past. You know, I was going to ask you because when I was looking for a rental apartment, what happened is as soon as I found one I liked, I'd call and they're like, oh, it was rented four months ago. So it wasn't up to date. That's right, because most of these companies are used to printing the books. You know, they oh. advertise for a subset of properties. Right. They show very limited information and they don't keep it up to date as often as they need to. So how has Apartments.com changed that? Well, we've redesigned Apartments.com and the mobile apps with the renter in mind. We have over a thousand researchers out gathering property information, things like rents, mm -hmm. the dates when the units are actually available, pet policies, parking information. We're even out visiting all the properties, getting photos or videos or interactive floor plans. So a lot of real-time information. Yeah, that's right. Okay, well, I love it. You have me sold. Let's go look at the website. I want to go through it. So Debbie, let's say you want to live in Chicago, Illinois, and you're willing to spend up to $2,800 for a two-bedroom. Let's see what's available. If you'll notice, we have 943 rentals available right now in Chicago. It's a lot to sort through, mm -hmm. so you may want to use the advanced filters here. You can even draw your own custom polygons, as many as you want around the neighborhoods you're interested in. You could even use Plan Commute, which is a great feature if you want to find a rental near somewhere you work or somewhere you go to on a regular basis. You enter in your address right here, select how long you want to travel to and from that location, and then how you want to get there. Car, public transit, walk, wow. or bike. So any way you want to search, we've tried to cover it. If I go into the detail here, you'll see we have so many pictures. So many a really nice high definition video. Mm -hmm. And here's the unit that matches your criteria exactly. You can go into the model and view the floor plan and interior amenities, or you can scroll down through the property and look at all the different information we've collected. Wow. Fees, description, interior and exterior. And this point of interest map here at the bottom is really great. You can see the groceries, coffee shops, and restaurants <laughs> around your building. Well, thank you so much. You really showed us how we can find the perfect place to live without all the hassle. I appreciate that. Thanks, Debbie. Thank you. Well, if you've missed any of what we covered here today, just head over to our website at designingspaces.tv. And thanks for joining us. Happy searching. Making a space you can call home. Living the lifestyle you desire. It's what we are all about. We are Designing Spaces. 
for more information about anything you've seen on today's show or to find out how to be part of the show, log on to designingspaces.tv. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces.